Hi everyone! So today we will be doing Chonga Gotta Go inspired makeup, okay? Yeah, so today I am going to be just trying a look that uh, it was inspired by Chonga's Gotta Go latest comeback. I have this picture for reference, you can look at it here. I really love her kind of dark, vampy like look for this comeback, and I really like the lip color that she did. Yeah, so I thought before my dance cover, I was gonna do makeup anyway, so why not just film it, right? Uh, yeah, I had lots of fun, and uh, without further ado, let's just get into the look! Let's just dive right into it. As you can see, my skin is very troubled at the moment. I have a really dry patch here, it's really disgusting. So I put like a huge dollop there, and then I try to just soothe out the area uh. We'll be using the cushion from BT Cosmetics This is the Chim Chim cushion Go in with some concealer. Areas that are like not really dry and you don't really need so much like fixing with the powder I like to just take it with a really light hand and just tap the area So my cheeks like the makeup stays really well I don't really need much powder and I still want a bit of that dewiness to come through So I'm just gonna really lightly just tap it with the powder like this But for places that need the coverage like my forehead and my T-zone I'll go over a few times with like more um, forceful sweeping motions. So we're gonna use a bronzer today, Hula by Benefit. And we're gonna carve out some jawlines. It's okay guys, makeup. Am I right? a bit dead so we need some kind of color on our face and I'm gonna use a really really light blush because blush is not the focus of today's look we just want some color but you don't want to take away any of the focus I'm gonna use this very very light pink Dior blush and now we're gonna do the noon sub the brows let's get to it I'm gonna use benefits Good Fruit Brow Pencil, my ride or die. I love this brow pencil. So I'm only flicking it upwards because I'm gonna create the bushy effect. Oh yeah, Chonga brows, oh yeah. Gonna use my favorite eye primer from Etude House. Love this stuff. Eyes are really nice and primed. <clears throat> gonna get you guys in closer. Closer. All up and personal. Thank <laughs> you. 
then use a dolly wink eyeliner to draw a very very sharp and huge cat eye I'm just gonna sketch it out first using a uh, pencil I'm using a pencil by Makeup Forever This is the line that we are following Okay? The rough shape out up and out. So that is a really strong cat eye one is done. Like really long. I'm gonna stretch it out really long. And that is done. I'm gonna make a little bit of egg yolk style using my Elizabeth Arden. This color, this highlighter color. Horrendous. Alright, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. Okay, so now we have both eyes done. We have the wings are up. They're flying. I'm gonna curl our eyelashes and I'm gonna use my favorite mascara. This is the one of my favorite heroine make from Japan. This stuff keeps your lashes up for the longest time, girls. Bottom lashes are very important as well. Let me get a, a small mascara for this. So now we're just gonna use the tried and tested King Lash. Six hours later. Okay, my lower lashes are a literal pain in the ass to work with. Oh my god! I forgot to put a little bit of highlighter, not too much, just a little bit. Using the Carbo Lighter by the Tony Moly Hurtauden Edition. I'm just gonna put this on my nose. Now! Very important for the lips, alright? We are going to be doing some kind of a uh, muted rose color. So today I'm going to use a little mix of Jeffree Star Androgyny, okay? And the Etude House uh, Matte Chic Lip Lacquer. What's this color? Rose Pink, okay? It's really pink. Muted pink. This is the color that you want. Okay, and then we're gonna take the Jeffree Star and we're gonna put it right in the middle. I take a bit of the cushion. I usually use my finger just dip it in like this and then I just seal the reddishness. So you know what stuff away. I tend to kind of leave some kind of red mark. So I just take the cushion and just push it around. Oven K all nighter setting spray. Hi guys, I hope you're 
enjoyed my look uh, inspired by Chang'e's Gotta Go. I really love this comeback from her. It's it's making like a dent in my favorite song list for 2019 already and I just totally respect her so much as an artist and I really love the way she performs, okay? So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I put out lots of other K-pop content on my channel. Follow me on social media. It is Carissa Hu on Instagram and on Twitter. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of fun makeup video. I'll try to make more of these throughout 2019 because I personally like them. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys have a great day. I love you all. Hubeis!